What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here jumping in on this Sunday evening, December 6, 2020. It's a date today, 9.42 p.m. West Coast time here in California. And uh, take a look at the Earthquake 3D globe here. Shows the latest quake on the map. A 2.5 up here around the Aleutian Island chain. Quite a bit of earthquake activity taking place over there. Over the last 24 hours, also some activity to discuss down here in the south part of the state of California. California kind of has been uh, oh, pretty active over the last 24, 48 hours or so, all the way from the north up here down to the south where we've seen a three-pointer kick off uh, just south of the Salton Sea area. You can see that 3.5 earthquake that struck uh, oh about an hour and a half ago. That has since been followed up by a couple small aftershocks in the vicinity of that same earthquake, that 3.5. This region here is uh, definitely capable of producing some, uh, well, good-sized earthquakes, but also um, some swarms. Right now, this has not turned into any type of swarm, but um, something to watch. Definitely, uh, definitely want to watch this area for some potential swarming going on. Of course, the San Andreas Fault system sits up here. That's the uh, locked section of the San Andreas Fault, uh, where the big next big earthquake will hit California. Uh, well, where it will strike at anyway. Um, some movement also in and around the San Jacinto Fault area. I'm going to drop this back to the 2.5 so we can get rid of the microquakes. You can see that 3.5 and also uh, 3.6 over here near the Warner Springs area. Way earlier today. Um, but nonetheless, the movement taking place out there looks like uh, the, it's weird. The USGS has this marked in red up here. It's kind of odd. Uh, I guess anything over 3.5 in an area, they tend to mark it as a red. Also 2.6 there in the greater Los Angeles area. Not for sure what that noise was. I think I got ghosts in my house again. Did you guys hear that in the background? There should be no reason why stuff is moving around in my house. There's nothing to make it move. I'm the only person here. That's kind of weird. Um, yeah, 2.6 at a fairly deep level, too. Th 13 kilometers below surface. Same for this earthquake down here. Or, uh, no, this other one, this 3.5 near the um, swarm area. That's kind of deep as well, about 11 kilometers or so below the surface. Not any deep, major deep movement but a little bit deeper than uh, than the normal six to eight kilometer region that we see down here uh, shooting up here to the north Ridgecrest area seen a little three-pointer of course this is the uh, 2.5 and above map getting rid of all the microquakes 4.4 earthquake there um, near the Lakeport area pretty sure that was uh wasn't that there from last night I can't remember. It's been a long, fun day. But uh, definitely some movement out here, folks. Uh, we'll go back to over here and take a look. Nevada. Still seeing uh, some earthquake activity out there in the desert. But uh, just kind of watching this area down south here, folks. The latest quake here. little microquake near Pala. looks like P-A-L-A, -A, California. Just this region down here has seen some uh, some interesting movement. And we got to watch for potential swarming here near the Salton Sea, which could potentially trigger a, a larger earthquake there on the San Andreas Fault. we still got a couple weeks left in 2020, and what's a, uh, what a better way to finish off 2020 than a major earthquake along the San Andreas Fault, right? I said it earlier uh, in the middle of this year, I still firmly believe uh, there's a good chance that we could see that happen. Uh, Northern California, not a whole lot of movement, no movement at Mount Shasta or Mount Lassen to report, and including up here in Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, volcanoes through the Cascades are relatively quiet uh, with no uh, earthquake activity to report in that region. The USGS reporting some quakes there around the West Yellowstone area, or the uh, Yellowstone National Park area near Yellowstone Lake, and uh, just a couple small quakes there. The active Yellowstone seismograph overview is still not working, so I have to go over to the uh, University of Utah to check out uh, specific uh, live seismograph stations there in the area. And uh, we'll go ahead and check that out real quick here. See if this one's keyed up. 
Yeah, there we go. So a couple looks as though potentially we could start. We're starting to see a little bit of swarming going on there. Each. Oh, I forgot. I forgot when I do that. Whenever I open up the seismograph there, it does not want to show it on your guys' side. So let's pop that back up here, and uh, so you guys can see it. There we go. Here's the overview there at Yellowstone, uh, just over Yellowstone Lake. And that's uh, showing some microquake activity there. Also looks like, uh, wow, yeah, it looks like that 2. Point, uh, what was that, 2.5, 2.7 that struck in the area as well. Over the last couple hours, calmed down, but not completely. You can see all these little spikes of uh, quake there indicating uh, earthquake activity. As uh, far as the Trimber map goes today, not a whole lot. Uh, we're looking at about 58 epicenters. Last night was about 90. It's a little bit of diminishing activity, but that does not mean any type of earthquake threat is over. Um, I've always seen this could go either way if we start seeing a, a whole lot of trimmer. That's an obvious pressure of or obvious um, indication of uh, you know some deep movement out there along the Cascadia subduction zone which further could uh, add stress onto the lock section up here off the, off the coast. But also whenever we see activity completely stop, uh, there's also that possibility of where everything's just, uh, you know, so cluttered or so uh, uh, jammed up where um, the slippage, the earthquake trimmer, not earthquake trimmer, but the trimmer downstream of the Cascadia subduction zone is kind of locked as well. And that's when we could potentially see larger, or not larger, but uh, definitely uh, earthquake activity in the deep range along the Cascadia subduction zone which it's been a while since we've seen those but they do happen out here they don't cause a lot of damage just because of the uh, depth of the earthquakes but they can be uh, somewhat large not as large as the big ones off the Cascadia uh, locked section but uh, we can definitely see some larger ones but at a pretty deep level uh, as far as the rest of the globe goes folks uh, let's go ahead and check that out real quick Latest quake uh, looks like a 5.4 out there in Fiji. Still relatively quiet here, as we mentioned last night. We haven't seen a whole lot of major movement along the Pacific Ring of Fire here in the west. You know, obviously an uptick of smaller, moderate-sized earthquakes here around the Fiji Islands area. You look at that 5.4 and take a look over here at the depth. That's a majorly deep movement earthquake there. 600, 621 kilometers, folks. Woohoo, that is some deep, 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 deep movement. I'm talking deep. I can't remember the deepest earthquake I've ever seen, but it's somewhere around there. I think 626, 656, I can't remember. But that there uh, is extraordinarily deep. Let's see if it's been reviewed yet. Uh, it has been reviewed, so they'll keep that depth right there of 621.1 kilometers. And from there, what do we expect? Well... With the magnitude there, 5.4 in the depth, I'm sure we're going to see now an increase in activity up here to the north. Uh, looking more than likely because deep movement out here, especially way down. I mean, this isn't no 100, 200 kilometers below the surface. 621. That's, I mean, that I can't even stress enough how deep that is. Uh, obviously, we'll see some movement up here real soon out here in the uh, western part of, of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Uh, all right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Going to keep it short somewhat tonight. Uh, live stream did go down earlier. I'm not for sure what happened, but uh, we got it back up and running. Uh, it's been consistent over the past few weeks uh, without any troubles except for today. So I'm not for sure what happened, but we are uh, back up and running. So if you want to uh, swing on by the live stream, come on over and say hi. In the meantime, folks, have a good night. Stay safe out there. And... Um, We'll chat you guys another time. Peace out.